You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, how many videos have we actually made on this channel when it comes to uh, transgender athletes and sports? I'm actually losing count. I really, really am. However, guys, I live in the United States of America and most of our viewers actually live in the United States of America. And there's definitely a culture war going on when it comes to uh, transitioning children and also free speech in this country. Now, what we're going to be talking about here in this video is actually not in this country, but actually um, in Greece. Guys, what we're going to be talking about in this video should be very, very disturbing here because. What this person said, this uh, Greek footballer, by the way, actually got him a 10 month prison sentence. I'm not making this up. He is against transitioning children, and this man was actually sentenced to prison. Now, will he actually end up doing his prison sentence? I'm not really sure. I don't know exactly how the laws actually work in Greece, but folks, you better be thankful if you live in the United States of America that you live here, because folks, if we don't get control of our country, we're going to be going down this same woke path. Check this out. Great sports star gets 10 month sentence after calling child sex changes an abomination. That is what he said. And he got sentenced to 10 months in prison. This is utterly ridiculous, folks. This is just so crazy. I was stunned when I actually saw this. I actually saw this um a few days ago. But uh, let's read this, and I'm probably going to mess up this guy's name here. A legendary Greek footballer, Val Valisis uh, Siertos, has been given a 10-month suspended prison sentence over comments critical of child sex changes. And as people over here in this country, all the way up to the man that sits in the Oval Office, he's calling for this stuff, too. And people have to fight back against this nonsense here. But it says here, Siratos, who played a key role in the uh, Greek national team's shot victory in the UEFA European Football Championship in 2004 and finished his career without receiving a single red card, was prosecuted. Under a supposed anti-racism law, somewhat perver perversely includes provisions against public incitement to violence or hatred on the basis of gender identity. Now, folks, this is supposed to be an anti-racism law, but somehow if you criticize transitioning children, that actually can get you locked up in prison. This is scary right here. But it goes on, it says in uh, Sir Toss's case brought to the courts by the Transgender Support Association, the supposed incitement took the form of a Facebook post from 2017 in which the athlete remarked that he hoped uh, the first sex changes are carried out on the children of those who ratified this abomination. In, re in reference to new legislation on gender identity, Greek media reports. So this goes all the way all the way back to 2017. He is against transitioning children, calls it an abomination. And then, bam, prison. It says here. Legitimize pedophiles to uh, to compete the crimes, complete the crimes. He added for this. Sia Toss was fined 5,000 euros or four thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars and handed a 10 month suspended prison sentence. The Transgender Support Association held the ruling against the footballer, calling it, quote, particularly important for the transgender community. Sia Toss, for his part, has vowed to appeal the decision. Oh, my goodness. I never thought I would actually see somebody actually get a prison sentence for calling child sex changes an abomination. Be very, very careful, folks, who you vote for tomorrow in the midterms. Be very, very careful because there's people out there 
They want to do the same thing to you for having the wrong beliefs. If you disagree with the left, they want to come after you. Let this be a telltale sign here, folks. This is ridiculous here. This is ridiculous. We made so many videos also on um, uh, Leah slash Will Thomas going in and dominating women in the pool. Won an NCAA title. And we called it unfair. People need to elevate their voices. Keep speaking about this and don't let the mob silence you. This man, all he did was speak his truth. And they gave him a pri prison sentence. Now, hopefully he never actually does have to um, serve this prison sentence, but I wouldn't be surprised because it doesn't sound like he's going to back away from his beliefs. Something is wrong in this world right now. Something is very, very wrong in this world, folks. And it's scary because you got people here in this country also that want this to happen because they actually do want um, biological men going in and competing in female sports. You saw what happened in um in a Ber Bernie Sanders or Vermont. We've done videos on how the biological women were actually kicked out of their own locker room because they're so woke up there. They were perfectly OK with this uh, biological boy being in the same locker room with these girls while they were trying to get change. It's just utter foolishness. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.